Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. Today I'm coming at you with a Goodwill haul. Today's color of the week for 75% off Monday was red. And we're going to start off with a few vintage Christmas goodies. So when I saw these, I knew instantly that I wanted them. And when I saw the price, I was like, oh yes, because they were gorgeous. They are a fantastic size. They're not the itty bitty houses. But when I took them out of the packaging, I couldn't believe my eyeballs, guys. These are the Thomas Kincaid Hawthorne Village Christmas Houses. Oh, am gosh. They came with a few little people and a cool little car, and they light up so beautifully. Each one came with their power cord. All of the light bulbs worked. I was just in absolute love. And for $4 a house with the little people and a car, I was just amazed. Now, if you don't know, Thomas Kincaid houses resell for buku dollars, okay? Each one of these houses could go for an easy $50 a piece, not including the shipping. There's lots of like 10 that sell for above $500, and I have three houses here at $4 a piece. There was no losing in this one. I think my favorite house has to be the last blue house, but I love the fact that Santa's workshop has a tree with lit up ornaments. This set is super exciting. I cannot wait to take them and find a way to plug them in under the Christmas tree so that they can be surrounded by my tree train. It's just going to be so beautiful. And I will definitely share that with you on Instagram whenever I get to that point to be able to set it up and put it under there. But for now, let's just enjoy the magical beauty of these beautiful Thomas Kincaid houses. The next item I got because I wanted to pair it with some crystal bowls and kind of make it a pet food set like this one. If you don't know, we have a tiny itty bitty rescue puppy and his name is Jack Jack and he is the tiniest little thing. This one would actually require bowls a little bit bigger than his because even his are even smaller than this. But it is a pet food stand, handmade, hand carved and all that good stuff. And I figured if I cleaned it up, sanded it down, and then sealed it and paired it with some crystal bowls, it would make a great little pet food center for somebody's pet. And I will be refurbishing and selling that one in the shop. Next, I picked up this USA set of St. George lead crystal glasses. Now, I see these all the time, but I don't pick them up because they're always the smaller ones. But these two are bigger and they were red tag. They were regular price $4.00. With the red tag that made them a dollar a piece for super heavy gorgeous lead crystal usa made that was my purchase point i needed it to be usa made so i picked those up next is this trivet so i love these silver plated trivets this one is a larger one i actually have one that is a circle but it's divided in the center so that you can extend it and this one is just an oval without the extension and it can hold a larger pot plate hot plate whatever and i really do like having these this one was priced at three dollars and i also picked up a vintage grater i have modern stuff that i am slowly trying to work out of the house with vintage pieces that have wood handles and stuff like that because i want to go authentic vintage and for me it's important so at the bottom, I'm actually going to attach a hook so it can hang on the S hook in the kitchen. I'll show you on Instagram whenever I do that. But it has been highly requested to show you guys how I polish my silver and my metals and my brass. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. First, I start off by removing any adhesive from tags by using 90% alcohol. Now, if you go on eBay, you can search up Moss Polish and it is M-A-A-S. They have it in a tube form. They have some open packaging um, slightly used, new, all of that. You can definitely go in there and sort it to your price range and what you're willing to pay to try it. All I do is put a dab on the surface and then rub it onto the surface softly with a towel. And then I just get a little more aggressive and buff it all off. Before you know it, in a matter of minutes, I think this video clip was like four and a half minutes uh, before I sped it up. Before you know it, you have a clean surface on your metal. 
This is before I washed it. I take it away, I wash it, and it looks beautiful again. And you can just let it get that natural patina in your home as you use it, starting off with a fresh slate. Next is this hand-painted, handmade in Poland ceramic pottery pitcher. It is gorgeous. And I knew the style as soon as I saw it on the shelf in the store. I flipped it over and sure enough, it was a handmade Poland or hand-painted Poland piece, which is very exciting to me. Not only because it resells very well, but it is beautiful. It's a great size and I only paid $4 for it. And the best part is that these resell for about $75. I'll probably come in uh, lower than that, maybe about the 65 range and get that one listed into the shop. It is a gorgeous piece. The next item that I picked up is gonna be a super quick refurbished uh, little project. I think it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous little jewelry box with three drawers and it has this kind of engraved wood carved design. Very pretty. I got it because the yellow corduroy velvety kind of material on the inside is super clean and gorgeous and it's got that golden kind of color to it. Very vintage vibes. So I'm going to be refurbishing this one and putting it into my eBay or the Etsy shop. I'm not sure because usually refurbished stuff goes into the Etsy shop. So I think this one and the dog or the pet food stand will both be Etsy shop items. The next two items are storage items. I picked up this gorgeous wooden briefcase style box and then this amazing tin. So the box is actually all wood and it has leather fabric on the top and then of course some fabric on there and it is a gorgeous piece now i'm thinking it's somewhat modern but it doesn't matter because i'm actually going to be using this to wrap boogie's gifts in for christmas he doesn't know so i'm whispering because i think he's right outside at my mom's door <laughs> anyway i'm gonna be using this for christmas gifts and i think he will love it if you don't know boogie loves suit and ties and he actually repurposed a uh, vintage corduroy backgammon game box into a briefcase and so i know this is just gonna be ideal for him Next, I found this gorgeous vintage tin. I loved it when I saw it because it is so fancy. The imagery is just stunning. The top is gorgeous. It does have a little dent, but I'm going to get the hubby to kind of bang that out just a little bit because it doesn't stay out with your hand. You kind of have to like hit it out. Anyway, the lid opens up so smooth and it's a nice big tin and I got it to put into the pantry so that it could sit out in the pantry and we could put all these freaking cookies that we have everywhere from Christmas parties and dinners and stuff into it and they can just reach into it and grab them and I don't have to see them in saran wrap and stuff like that. Like um, if you guys don't know, I don't do single use plastics anymore. So for me, it's just an eyesore. Anyway, this one's vintage 1998. I thought it was a gorgeous piece and it will be staying here in the house and going into my pantry. Next, we have this three-piece set of smoky black glass vintage dishes. Now, I can never decide if these are Anchor Hawking or Tierra. So you guys let me know if you know for sure. But the two small pieces were actually two for $4 and the big one was $3. But since they were 75% off, I got the small ones for a dollar, making them 50 cents a piece and the big one for 75 cents. I actually use these in my baking station to separate different ingredients when I'm making different recipes. So I love them. Eventually, I'll have a full set that we could use on an everyday basis. Next are some mugs. There were several that I decided to go ahead and grab. Now mugs sometimes are really hard for me to resist. This time though, I was trying to be selective. So I am happy with the ones that I decided to pick up. The first two are actually a set of Fine Bone China by Churchill Porcelain Cups. I absolutely love them. They were $1.99 a piece. The imagery on them was spot on. They are gardener themed. They have the little garden greenhouse, the garden walls, the tools. Absolutely adorable for $1.99 each and those are definitely going into the shop. The next set was a set of two cups that I actually saw there at regular price, but they were red tagged this week. They are the casual images by Lennox Rose Garden Print mugs i absolutely love these or not mugs but cups but 
For me, they were a great size and at 75% off, they were only a quarter a piece. So I felt like it was more of a benefit to get them at the quarter than to get them full price because it was only two. Next is this grandpa mug. I actually have a grandma mug that is identical and I cannot wait to pair the two. It's in my fall market stash. So I'm going to have to pull it out of there and put these in the shop because they are too great as a his and hers vintage mug set. Can't wait to get those listed. Next, we're going to take a look at some Christmas goodies. There are several items here that are absolutely adorable and very good quality product. I am only keeping one, which is very hard because I love all things vintage Christmas vibe. So for me, this is a tough one. The first item is this gorgeous spoon rest. It was three bucks and I believe it is Christmas twall. If that's how you pronounce the word, it's T-O-I-L-E, I believe. I'm not really sure. I always get it wrong. But it's a beautiful spoon rest, and it was $3. This one is already listed in the shop. Absolutely adorable. There was one that was a double spoon rest that sold on eBay for, I think, $25. So I think my price is fair. The Lennox American by Design salt and pepper shakers are actually brand new. They haven't been used. They haven't been filled. The stickers are still on the bottom. And these were $4 for the set. I thought these were absolutely adorable. If I didn't already have about 20 sets of different kinds of vintage Christmas salt and pepper shakers, I was going to keep these. So not going to keep them. They're going into the shop and somebody will love them, especially because they're brand new, never been used. The next item is a Spode candle holder. It has a nice little thumb rest on there, adorable little ring to carry your candle around. I was actually testing this candle that I found in a like a huge little set for five bucks and I wanted to see if it dripped. It doesn't drip. So that's pretty awesome. You can burn it, let it burn, and you won't have to worry about any spillage. So I did keep that one for me. That one was $1.99. Next is this cheese and thank you. Let the snacking begin. Cheese board and spreader absolutely love things made by mud pie mud pie if you don't know what it is it's a brand that's pretty similar to ray dunn if i'm not mistaken they've kind of been around uh, the same amount of time and the mud pie brand actually uses more of a typewriter font which is something that i am very fond of and i think i like mud pie more than ray dunn just because of that. I'm a huge typewriter lover. I'm a huge book page, like vintage book lover. And that just kind of resonates a little more with me. Anyway, this one was $3. I did pick it up. I'm going to clean it up and get it all beautified and put into the shop because Mud Pie does very well for me. Next is this two-piece set of hand-blown Mexican swirl glass stemware. I absolutely love this stemware. A friend of mine loves the margarita glasses, and I just thought these were a unique piece. You know they're hand-blown whenever they have the broken piece off the bottom where they break the glass from the whatever the thing is called. I can't remember the tool. It's like a long metal stick. Anyway, they break that off and that's how you know it's hand blown. But I do love the swirl factor because I don't see that too often in this style of glass or I haven't been able to find them often. So I can't wait to get those listed. Those were $1.99 a piece. Now, one of my favorite things to get from Goodwill is their fabric napkins and linens on 75% off Mondays. If you don't know, we don't use paper towels here in the house. I've kind of gone on a re reduced waste and reduced waste of money journey. So for me, I like to spend my pennies on things that I can reuse and get a lot of use out of and just completely enjoy. The first set of napkins that we got are actually very big. They're like 18 inch napkins and napkins are 50 cents a piece. I was able to find five of these gorgeous white linen and this embroidered edge napkin and it's just so beautiful and so fantastic i loved every single one of these and i use this to kind of create a liner whenever i'm decorating tabletops or you know hutch tops or whatever and the next set is actually this park designs kind of canvasy burlapy type fabric napkin there were four of these but the best part is that they were 75 percent off so i paid 12 cents for each one of these 
and I love incorporating fabric napkins into my everyday use. We roll them up, put them into a drawer, and then we use them for dinner every night. And they get funky with kids, but it doesn't matter. You pay 12 cents. Next are these. Now the lighting keeps acting funny with these because they're a little bit, not shimmery, but they're a little bit silky. So it kind of reflects the light. They are more of a goldish tone than this almost burlap color that's going on but they were also 12 cents a piece they are a very good size so with this little replenish i'm going to go through and uh, kind of compost the ones that are all used and abused and tattered and just time to go and replace them with the new ones next is this pampered chef apron so excited now i'm not really sure what aprons go for if i'm not mistaken i think they're 250 but no more than like five bucks. So to get this Pampered Chef denim apron, I thought was an awesome score. So excited. Now, I don't even, I've never bought anything Pampered Chef full price, but I know the quality and I know why people pay for it. I always find it while out thrifting, but this is something that I would actually get use out of. Very practical and I absolutely love this apron. So I got that as well. Next, this was a 75% off made in Bangladesh little suit top that I thought Boogie would absolutely love. He tried it on. It's a little bit long for him, but he actually likes to wear his suit coats as like jackets whenever it's a cold day. This one is a size 12 by Cat and Jack, but the cool thing about this one is that the sleeves are a little bit long, but with that gorgeous plum color inside, he can just roll up the sleeve and he looks adorable. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much it for this Goodwill haul. I do hope that you enjoyed. Just to let you guys know, if you are curious in checking out the hashtag Bates House shop, feel free to do so. I have created a coupon code for you guys. It is a private coupon code just for friends to the channel and it is Bates House. You can get 20% off of every purchase that you make in the shop. I really do appreciate your support. I appreciate when you come through and purchase things in support of me and my channel. That is how I create revenue. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. It really does help with the algorithm. A lot of our channels are kind of being suffocated and not supported because the algorithm isn't supporting us. So if you could help it by doing that, I would very much appreciate it. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite find was or what are your vintage vibes? What is your favorite vintage item that you incorporate into your daily life? Let us know. Also, you can follow me on my social media on Instagram at the Bates House, hashtag Bates House pretty much anything and I will see you there. And that's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.